Growl is a sort of a social deduction werewolf themed game for four to ten players and it takes about 15 minutes to play. One of us is going to be a werewolf, Wolf Zero, and the rest of us are humans. And in larger play accounts, there could be two or three werewolves. We're all going to be working together, pretending to be humans, and we're going to go through a deck, distributing all the bad stuff to all the different players. When we get to the bottom of the deck, the game ends, and we're going to have a growl phase where all the wolves are going to reveal themselves. If you are a wolf, your goal is to make sure there's no humans left alive at the end of the third night when the, when the deck runs out and the game ends. If you're a human, all you need is just one human left alive. If one human wins, then all the humans win, even if you're dead. Unlike other games where your roll card basically reveals your role for the whole game, in Growl, your hand is going to reveal what you are at all times. So let me give you an example. If you ever have three bites, you turn into a wolf. And once you're a wolf in Growl, you are a wolf for the rest of the game. But luckily, there is a charm, and charms negate bites. If you get too many bites or if you lose your charm, you are going to turn into a wolf. If you ever get three wounds, regardless of which team you're on, you are going to die. And you'll flip over your, your little tile here to reveal the I died side. But luckily, there is a salve, and salves cancel wounds. So it's easy to remember because salve sounds like save and uh, so you know that it cancels one of your wounds. And then gold is points at the end of the game if your team wins, so everybody wants that. You can use that as a bribe. You're gonna take a bite, and you're gonna take a bunch of these gold cards, and you're gonna shuffle them all up so the total number of cards is equal to the total number of players, assigning the right number of bites based on the number of players. Everyone's gonna get one, and they're gonna look at it secretly, and they're gonna keep it in their hand. If your starter card is a bite, you're wolf zero. You're a werewolf for the rest of the game. If your starter card is a gold, you're a human. For now. Shuffle the rest of the deck together, and you're actually going to go ahead and add three cards for each player, and they're going to add it to their hand. So now you're going to have four cards in your hand. There are three knights that are going to be in the game. There's a regular knight, and another regular knight, and the final knight. The final knight is always going to be set up on the bottom of the deck. And then the other knights, there's 16 different knights, you shuffle two in, you could set them in approximately a third of the way into the deck. So that as you're playing, basically they'll, they'll pop up at random times. Then when you flip the deck face up, the final knight is on the bottom, so it's going to be resolved as the final card. There's two phases. There's the day phase when the deck is face up and on your turn you take the top card, give it to the player of your choice. They can say, don't give it to me, don't give it to me, or please give it to me, or give it to Susan, she's the wolf. Once a knight card pops up, there's three randomly shuffled in, you're gonna take that special power and then knight falls and we resolve the knight phase. And that's when you're gonna take the cards in your hand, choose one to pass left right onto the player tile of your neighbor and one to pass right. And then you're gonna take the two cards that you received from your neighbors and shuffle them up and add them to your hand. If you get a bite in the night, you know that one of your neighbors is a wolf because only werewolves can bite. So that's how the werewolves strike and you're gonna be skipping over dead players. So, uh, so watch out because werewolves might not just bite, they might also wound you to death just so they can get to your neighbor. If there's ever only two players left alive, you jump right to the final phase of the game, the growl. And if there are more than two players left alive, you resolve the final night, do your last passing of cards, and then you jump to the growl. The growl is when the original werewolf, Wolf Zero, goes grrrr, and then other wolves join in slowly grrrr, and you get to see how the infection spread throughout the colony. If all the living players are growling, that means wolves have taken over the colony and all wolves win, even the dead ones. But if there's even one human left alive, then all the humans win, including the dead humans. If you're on the winning team, you get one gold for winning, and then you get one gold for each additional gold card that you have in your hand. So that way, if you want to play several games in a row, you can collect all your gold throughout the, the night, and at the end of the evening, get crowned Wolf King or Wolf Queen. Have fun and grrrr!